In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade the 17 inch sharp screen from 4 CCF LM to our UB70 series LED kits. Um, this is screen, well, this kit comes from two LED strips, one LED driver to replace uh, the sensor O inverter, a couple of limb foyer, and one of the wire harness with the connectors. So let's set that aside, take a look at this screen. This screen again made by Sharp, the screen part number is LQ170. E1 LG 11 LQ 170 E1 LG 11 This one it's a 17 inch and uh, you can find in a lot of new boxes open film displays it's a really nice screen so in order to remove the backlight it's quite simple uh, while there's two ways to do it um, I'll show you later but see this is a screw here one two so what we need to do, let me show you, it's just remove this small screws here and then basically you just pull out, you see this, just slowly pull out. Okay, yep, it's out. Okay, let's take a look at this um, LEDs. So LED is not going to fit because uh, inside the reflector. So there's two ways to mount it. Uh, the easiest way would be, I would prefer is just peel off the double side tape, slice in. You know, just push it backward. <coughs> and that's it. The other one, if you want to do professionally, that means you have to just sample the whole thing and everything December, put it inside, make sure it stick together but that would be too much time so since this one is kind of narrow so even though you stick it in, I want to show you so if you, oh, you cannot fit over like this, always stay flat so let's try this um, again, you know, we don't have to test it but uh, when you order it, we test it already so just peel off like this, stick it in That's it. Okay. Repeat the same thing on this side. Um, another thing I want to show you is quite simple, right? It's easy. There's no soldering involved. Just pull out, stick it in. Oh, after that, you can add aluminum foil on this side to cover the lights. Another thing that I get some feedback from some uh, viewers and uh, talk about how to connect this thing to uh, to the existing inverter wire harness. So this screen is removed from 17 inch box display. It, this is the original inverter board that we use. Original one has five wires. So how to reconnect this to this wire harness? Okay. So first, uh, you know, you don't connect to here, but you connect to the existing five pin uh, uh, inverter wire harness. But we can find out the pin assignment basically based on the old inverter. And quickly you can see there's a capacitor. So this negative, this positive trace back would be pin one. Okay, again, capacitor, negative, positive, you also say fuse. So this negative connect to black, positive connect to wet, so we already find out the input and outwards. The other one we need is yellow, which we call enable. There's two ways to do it. Either you can use your meter, okay, you fire up the display, even though the display is not working, but you can connect the existing wire harness here and you measure the voltage. The enable, if you can find the voltage 3.2, typical 3.5 volts or some of the 5 volts when you turn on, it's 5 volts when you shut off, this 5 will disappear. That is enable. So you can apply enable to the yellow. Another option is that if you short out this one, I really want to see this JP2 here, really tiny solder part. If you short off, short out with this piece of solder or wire, then, oh, you don't have to worry about enable. Just connect this negative to black, positive to wet. That's it. The LED will light up. So anyway, if you do have a meter to measure voltage, it's okay. You can try other pins. Just connect to it. It's not going to burn out this one and burn out your machine. The worst case, you know, the LED lights not light up. Until you find a pin that when you fire up the machine, the LED stays on, that's enable. So it's not that difficult. All right. Thank you for watching.